Hey guys and welcome back to another card review. So before we continue on with the Satella card, I should probably talk about this card that various Satella players have been tagging in their deck. Um, you know, I've been seeing this card a lot lately. I really want to go ahead and talk about it before I forget because I have a feeling that I'm totally forgetting, gonna forget about this card. Anyway, this card is called Battle Guard Howling. So it is a normal trap card that reads, when a warrior type monster you control is targeted for an attack or by an opponent's monster effect. Target one face up monster your opponent controls, inflict damage to your opponent equal to that monster's original attack on the face up monster you targeted with this card, and if you do, return it to the hand. Now, so far, uh, you know, when it comes to a Satella Knight deck, you know, uh, you know, being majority warriors, I find this card pretty interesting. I kind of like how it has kind of like, it's kind of like you have, you can buy the magical cylinder with Compulse, and just slapped it together, and uh, it's, it's a pretty interesting play. So of course, you know, Satella Knights, they have a hard time doing up against Midrash Winda because, you know, they come special once per turn, that deck's special them multiple times, you know. So one of the plays you can do, you can just summon one of your uh, Satella Knights when they're going to, you know, when they try to commit in, to an attack and try to run over your Satella Knights, you can just go ahead and play Battle Guard Howling, you know, stop their attack, go ahead and, uh, and burn them for that damage and just whoop, right back to the, well, that this time. In this uh, case, back to the extra deck. Well, something that makes it extra interesting is that it doesn't have to be the monster that's attacking. So, you know, you know, Satella Knight, I mean, a Shadow player might be smart, and they might, you know, be sitting on a, uh, on a window, and they'll summon other monsters to attack you with, you know, because they're thinking, oh, well, I'm going to get deep prisoned with my window, so I'm not going to attack with my window, I'm just going to attack with my other monsters, so they'll be like, okay, well, I'm going to take my Shadow Dragon and run over your Deneb, you can just be like, Battle Guard Howling, like, yeah, go ahead, I'm going to target that monster, because it just says when a warrior type monster you control is targeted for an attack, you target one phase that monster board controls, and flick damage and bounce it back, so you it, you can go ahead and be like, oh, what, no, I'm not going to target that dragon, no, the window, you take 22, that's that, put, put that shit back to your hand, so, definitely, uh, an interesting play, an interesting play, and I like how it's not only attack, because if it was, if it was probably just attack I probably go with D prison you know especially with D prison being at three because the problem is is that you're putting it back to extra deck and you know yeah go ahead and put one to back to extra deck just so they can shoot off using to it later you know well D prison you know that's gone you know get out you're banished and that's one less window they will have in the extra deck so that's one less window you have to worry about them summoning you know uh, but because you know it also says monster effect so you know, with uh, Burning Abyss, making Pleiades, and your opponent tries to go, alright, well, Pleiades effect, bounce and run. You can be like, nope. You go ahead and take 25 and put Pleiades back in an extra deck and detach all the extremely senior children. They go to the graveyard, which would not be the best because, you know, Burning Abyss and then. <sighs> yeah. Or you can block your opponent's Delta. You know, there's just, there's just a ton of things. That targeted for attack and by an opponent's monster effect definitely makes this card pretty interesting. I like that it's kind of like a, a magical cylinder and a compulse, and overall it's not bad, like I said, it, but it's more warrior, warrior specific, so if you're thinking that, oh, that card is so great, I'm going to splash and everything, you know, if you don't got a warrior, it's not looking too good, you know, and the problem, one of the problems I'm having with this card and it, it being played in Tetelis is that Tetelis kind of have a consistency issue, um, you know, they've kind of fixing it and tweaking it lately, but, you know, with the probably appropriate banning of soul charge the deck is definitely going to make a change and a change for the worse and now uh, that that, uh, that banning of soul charge is going to hit the deck's consistency therefore uh you know depending on how many of you of these battle guard howlings you run you can draw into multiple of these draw into no warrior and this card is going to be just as dead as the uh the was it what's that card called black sonic that black what the the, the black wing card Black Sonic, I thought it was called, I think, so. Uh, yeah, yeah. It could be just as dead as Black Sonic, just because, you know, I don't have it, you know, I don't have any, uh, warrior monsters, therefore this card is dead. So, you know, it's kind of like, yeah. I, I probably wouldn't run it in anything other than to tell Knights, maybe, maybe Noble Knights, maybe. But anything other than that, I doubt it. Um, heroes don't really need it. Um, Six Samurais aren't even really a deck right now, so no. Um, 
Hmm. Ah. I'd probably just say maybe just Teller Knights and maybe Noble Knights, but that's it. But no, I, I, I kind of like the card. I find it very interesting. Uh, I find it interesting uh, that if you run into it, and nice play, nice play. I applaud you on that. So tell me what you guys think about Battle Guard Howling. So I hope that you guys enjoy the, this card review. So not sure what I'm reviewing on next Tuesday. I don't know. I'll probably find something and talk about it, but yeah. So, um, if you guys have any suggestions, be sure to suggest them in the comment section below, of course. But, uh, thanks for watching, thanks for all the support, and I will see you guys, uh, what, tomorrow with some fake card Friday, of course, because it'll be Friday, but yeah, I'll see you guys on Tuesday with another card to look at. Thanks for watching.